Okay, uh, chapter review number 39. When I look at this one, I see a quadratic. I see three terms. The middle exponent is half of the first. So therefore, it's nothing more than a glorified diamond problem. Okay, six times 20 is 120. X to the fourth, I want negative 23 X squared. I believe that's gonna be negative 15 and negative eight. And they are both gonna be X squared. So when I factor it, I get six X to the fourth, minus 15 X squared, minus eight X squared, plus 20. Group the first two terms and the second two terms together. I'm gonna to factor out a three X squared on the first one. And I'll do a two X squared minus five. I'm gonna pull out a negative four out of the second one, which gives me two X squared minus five. The two X squared is grouped together and I get three X squared minus four. Now, when I'm solving this problem, in the beginning I recognize there has to be four solutions, okay? So I take each of these, set them equal to zero. Okay, and now I can solve them out. So two X squared equals five, X squared is five halves. So X is plus or minus the square root of five halves. Now we don't leave it that way. We have to rationalize it. So I multiply top and bottom by the square root of two and I get square root of 10 over two. Solving the other one, I get three X squared is four. So X squared is four thirds. Take the square root, I get plus or minus the square root of four thirds. So multiply top and bottom by the radical on the bottom which gives me plus or minus a square root of 12 over three, which one more time, that's gonna be two square root of three over three. So that would be my four solutions.